Hi, welcome to today's Steelhead Gnome How. My name is Miguel Malena with Riverbed Support, and today we're going to be discussing scheduling jobs with Steelhead Appliances. Before we get started, let's briefly go over what the Scheduled Jobs command feature is on the Steelhead. The Scheduled Job features is essentially a feature that allows you to execute a command or a grouping of commands at a specific uh, point in time every day automatically. The jobs command feature can be configured on all steelhead models to include steelhead CX's, SCC, SMC, steelhead fusion edge, and interceptor models. Some examples of what you can use the scheduled jobs feature for are the following. You can schedule an appliance reboot or shutdown. You can clear interface counters. You can auto generate email reports. But really, it's sort of sky's the limit in terms of what you can use the schedule jobs feature for, uh, since essentially you can automate any command execution that's in the Riverbed CLI. So in order to get a better idea of all the different commands that you can use and execute with the schedule jobs feature, please refer to our command line interface manual on our Riverbed support site. So now why don't we go through the process of actually configuring a scheduled job on a steelhead appliance. The very first thing you're going to want to do is SSH into your appliance. As mentioned earlier, the only way to configure any new jobs on the steelhead is through the Rio CLI. Once you're SSH in, go into your configuration prompt. And then you're going to want to use the job command to actually start creating jobs. In this case, what you're going to do is you're going to say job. Then you're going to feed the job an arbitrary number. In this case, I'm going to pick the number five. And essentially, this, this number is kind of like a container, right? Um, when you specify job, the number five, anything that follows that will all be grouped into the same uh, job, so to speak, so that you can have multiple jobs that can do different things depending on what you're trying to achieve. You're then going to give it the command command. And then you're going to start specifying a number after the command, which indicates the order of the commands that you want to execute. So in this case, I want to specify my first command that I want to run for my job. So I'm going to feed it the number one. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap my command in quotes that I want to execute. So for this particular job, I actually wanted to clear my, uh, the statistics on my physical interfaces of my in-path every night. So why don't we go ahead and configure that actual command, which is going to be clear interface WAN one underscore zero. And since empath interfaces have two physical interfaces, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for LAN one underscore zero. And you'll notice every command that I'm that I want my job to execute, I'm wrapping in quotes. So you can keep adding as many commands as you want to your job and all you have to do is just keep incrementing this number here that follows the uh, command command. Bit of a tongue twister there, command command. Now since we want others to know what this job is doing, we're going to give the job a description. And basically, you know, we're just saying here what we want this job to do and in this case we're letting others know that this job will reset the interface statistics for our WAN 1 underscore 0 and LAN 1 underscore 0 interfaces every day. Now the next thing that you have to do is you have to you have to give the job a date and time that you want it to start executing on. In this case today's the 22nd and I want my job to start executing every morning starting on the 23rd. So in this case, I'm saying my date dash time is the morning or the beginning of the morning. And I want to start executing this job on the 23rd. The other thing we can do too is uh, we can give our job a name. And in this case, I'm going to give it the uh, clear interface name. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to execute 
a command that tells us if we want this job to reoccur every morning. So right now this date dash time command will execute this job only one time. But if we want this job to keep reoccurring, we need to specify the command re recurring. And we're going to give it a value in seconds. So in this case, 86,400 seconds equates to uh, 24 hours. And then the very last thing that we want to do is enable the job. Now, once we've done all this, we can run the command show jobs to show our configured jobs. And what you'll notice here is that when you run this command, it's going to give you a status for your job. In this case, the status is pending because the job still hasn't run. The job is enabled. We're going to be running the job as admin. We gave our job a comment to let others know what the job's doing. The interval in this case was set by the recurring command. Um, and as mentioned earlier, we want this to run every 24 hours. So we specified 86,400 seconds. And then the scheduled time is going to be the first time that this job is going to execute. So we're going to be executing this tomorrow morning on the 23rd. And we'll give you an output of the commands that are going to be executed in this job. And then last but not least, once this job starts reoccurring, you'll see the start and you'll see the start time and the finish time of the last execution. You can also check your jobs from the Steelhead Management Console by navigating to Administration, Maintenance, Scheduled Jobs. From this page, you'll get a listing of all your jobs that are going to be executing and configured on the appliance. You can also enable and disable jobs as needed as well from this page. At this point, you should now be able to start configuring scheduled jobs on your own in your environment. Thank you again for your time, and please feel free to check back in for more videos and Steelhead know-how.